Growing up, things were always changing in my life, but there's one constant. I frequently volunteered at a summer camp and after school program for children in low income communities. The kids in these programs hold a special place in my heart as they provided me with new perspectives about my community and gave me the opportunity to serve as their mentor. However, after a thousand hours of community service, I felt trapped within my routine and needed a new outlet to evoke self growth. So I came to Suwannee on the Posse Scholarship, wanting a fresh start. On the path to reinventing myself as a freshman, my love for community service work stuck with me and followed me to Suwannee. As a freshman, the first politics class I was assigned to was Politics of Poverty and Inequality. To this day, Dr. Schneider's class was the most impactful and important class I've ever taken. This class allowed me to recognize the systemic roots that fueled the injustices I witnessed in my community. Dr. Schneider sparked my interest in politics, advocacy, and social justice, which later led me to apply to be a canale for the Lone Rock Comic Stockade and become the first DEI chair for Theta Pi in March 2021. I discovered the WIC at a low point during my freshman year. My interactions with the WIC lifted me up significantly, and I believe the only way I could thank them was paying it forward. I entered the WIC as a sophomore in a time when Sewanee was limited to a bubble. Despite this limitation, I was excited to be a part of the WIC, so excited that I spread a false rumor to all my friends who told their friends that the WIC gave out free Plan B. While it was just an accident, it revealed a greater need for emergency contraception that was exacerbated due to the bubble. This led to the creation of the Closing the Resource Gap Initiative which took shape in different forms throughout my time at Suwannee. Unfortunately, at the start of my junior year, the initiative quickly was suspended, leaving the campus without a way to access emergency contraception and me feeling guilty and blaming myself for this loss. I spent a year researching, collaborating with community members and organizations, and seeking funds to bring back this initiative in a sustainable way. Thanks to a good friend, Makerspace was able to bring my vision to make Plan B free and accessible 24-7 to life by creating a box in the ATC to distribute Plan B. Also during my freshman year, I caught Nikki Hamilton by surprise as her new work study for the OCE, but unfortunately she was never made aware of this until I walked into her office in August of 2019. At the time, Nikki was the Director of Community Development and worked directly with the South Cumberland Community Fund. Nikki took me under her wing and I spent endless time with her on the second floor of the BC, searching through the same Google Drive I use today as site later for the South Cumberland Community Fund. Nikki also suggested the idea of completing the Certificate of Civic and Global Leadership. Since I already completed one class requirement by taking Politics of Poverty and Inequality. To be honest, I didn't know much about the program before I said yes, but it was one of the highlights of my Sewanee career. Their certificate combined my passion for advocacy and service work by allowing me to be a leader for social change and partner with the Stepad Chattanooga, which serves the mission to remove barriers to contraception through education, outreach, and access to free birth control. The following people and organizations made a huge impact on the woman I am today. I am beyond grateful for the people that shaped me as a leader on this campus and to have discovered my passion for advocacy, reproductive health, and social justice.